Get teach the other here. Get teach the other via. Teach these. Get teach theirs. I'm Tim Silverwood. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of Take Three for the Sea, which asks people all over the world to simply take three pieces of rubbish with them when they leave the beach or waterway or anywhere in the environment. Okay then, Tim, what's the problem with plastic? The main problem with plastic is it's made out of a material that lasts forever. So we take oil and gas, we take petroleum from the planet, and then we synthesize it into this material that, yes, it's remarkable, yes, it's amazing, mm -hmm. but an item that you might use for only a few seconds is gonna last on our planet for centuries, if not thousands of years. And we think that's a problem. Now, Timmy Tim, is it not in fact a fact that microbeads are actually helping the reef to look 10 years younger? <laughs> Microbeads have always stood out for me as one of these ridiculous marketing tools. You know, we're using soaps and cleansers and all these things to make ourselves look better and look more beautiful, but at the end of the day, they have a huge impact on marine life. Millions and billions and trillions of these little pieces of plastic making their way into our oceans where they end up getting sucked up by plankton or oysters or other marine creatures. Say so, no to microbeads. Some land animals don't seem to have an appetite for plastic. They're chill just eating the stuff they're supposed to eat. What the hell is wrong with sea animals that make them find plastic so delicious? It's a really good question to ask yourself. Why are these creatures eating plastic? We certainly think and look at plastic and go, well, I wouldn't eat that because I know it's going to cause me harm. But that's not the case with these innocent wild creatures. And quite often, particularly with birds like you, Seagull, this stuff smells like food. It's got lots of algae and various things growing on it. So you smell that, you think, hmm, that's good for me. But you eat it and unfortunately it'll get stuck inside your body where it'll cause you to starve, dehydrate, and that's the end of you, Seagull. Oh, okay, yeah, thanks for that, Tim. This is a bit morbid, a bit harsh on me. But if you're gonna be like that, suppose, is there something I can do to probably try and avoid that happening? Something, any advice you can give? I think the first and foremost thing you can do is be educated and talk about it. We need to have many, many more people and birds out there communicating the problem and saying, you know what, I care about this. Mm -hmm. The next thing you can do is just rethink your relationship with plastic, particularly the single use plastic like straws and bags and coffee cups and bottles. Every time you say, no thanks, you're sending a message that we don't want so much single use plastic in our society. And that's all well and good, but we do need to start looking at those bigger scales too. What are companies doing? What are governments doing? How can we use those levers to control the system at a much bigger level? We've got lots of work to do. Get teach over here. Get teach over there. Click on the link. Click here to share. Teach.